What's up, what's up, YouTube? It's me, your boy, Dragon Masters 525 aka Keon, coming at you with another YouTube taste test review video. Woo! And today, as you saw from the thumbnail, we're tasting a Red Bull Zero. This is what it looks like. It's pretty cool because it looks like it's a great, oh, it's almost like a grayscale of like the normal Red Bull can, but it's sick. But it says zero sugar. You guys know me, I fucking hate zero sugar, but I'm still taste testing everything so gotta taste test it you know fucking this is my job but um i thought i'd taste test this red bull zero kind of get all the everything in the red bull line just out of the way so we can focus more on some other stuff too so we can hop on to like some other stuff i thought i was done with red bull but apparently i missed two you know the, the red bull zero and the red bull you know sugar free so fuck me <laughs> but without further ado let's just kind of crack it open and see how it tastes like because, uh, dude, I, I'm not going to lie. I'm expecting it to be, like, straight booty cheeks. Like, straight ass. If I can take this tab up. There we go. <laughs> Fucking struggling here. All right. So, without further ado, let's take us. Let's give it a swing, dude. Let's see how it tastes like. Dude, not bad. Yo, it's actually... Yo, I swear, dude, everything's tasting so much different because this tastes good. This actually tastes, like... This tastes better than the sugar-free sugar than the sugar -free one. And this one has zero sugar. What? And it's lightly carbonated, so... It's interesting because, like, it's kind of fizzy. It's not really, like, car like that carbonated bubbly. Dude, it's not that bad. So, one thing I noticed is that it's a little bitter. And that's okay. So, <laughs> I really like the bitterness of, like, of drinks. I think I like it way better than, like, sweet drinks. I, I tell everyone this, my viewers, my friends. I'm not, I don't like sweet drinks. I'll taste the sweet drink ones. But I'm putting that shit down. I'm not touching it again. But the Red Bull Zero Sugar tastes like a Red Bull. It tastes lighter. It's not heavily carbonated like the other ones. It de definitely does taste slightly carbonated. And it says it on the can too. It says with taurine, lightly, lightly carbonated. I know it's like reverse, but work with me for a little bit. It says with taurine, right? Lightly carbonated. And I definitely feel that. It feels like a, it feels like a, like it feels brewed almost a little bit you know one of those like pepsi nitros or like those like coca-cola or like anything nitro where it's like brewed and it's just very like foamy almost that's how it feels like that's the texture and the consistency that it feels like when the carbonation within the drink is like popping in my mouth it just turns kind of fizzy not like a normal red bull or like a soda where it's just like super carbonated and you t like um not taste but like you can feel the texture of the bubbles and stuff like that from the carbonation but it's not that bad it's getting me, I feel semi-awake a little bit. It's definitely, like, waking me up because, like, I just woke up literally a couple seconds ago, headed to the store, and just came back now and just decided, yo, I'm just gonna fucking do this review until my long-form content comes. But this drink, I think, I, I think I'd, I'd, I'd buy this a lot more. I was scared to buy this at first because I, I feel like I would be wasting my money, but if I'm taste-testing stuff I'm not liking anyways, might as well just keep testing it but it's nice and there's barely any aftertaste either which is actually really surprising because i taste a little bit i taste like the blends of like the flavor all that stuff it's touching my tongue right i feel it in my mouth a little bit but the more i talk and the more i smoke the flavor just like leaves and there's like <coughs> there's like almost no flavor afterwards Oh yeah, I like it. I think I like it way better than the than the sugar-free one. The sugar-free one was okay. But this one, way better. Way better. I think it might be better than some of the other flavors too.
I just didn't expect a, a zero sugar drink to have this much flavor and this much like kick to it. Where where it's like enjoyable, enjoyable and like palatable. The can's also not that bad either. Honestly, like if I wasn't specifically searching for zero sugar, I'd be missing this can almost all the time. Cause I'm not looking. Whenever I look at Red Bull, I look at the flavors. I barely look at um, like the zero sugar or the sugar free or or some of the other flavors. But it's definitely pretty interesting. It's a little pricey though. It's like it's the same price as like any other Red Bull. And it, they're they are. I feel like they are taking some things away from like this. Like, for example, the sugar. I feel like you're still paying the same price. You don't have enough, the same amount of sugar. It feels like a little bit like DLC, but not so much. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just like tweaking out, um, just nitpicking here at this point. But um, that's just kind of like what I'm thinking. Oh, man. Oh, so good. It tastes like a. For me, it tastes, the bitterness of this is like similar to that of a raspberry. The bitterness of like a raspberry or a blackberry, but without the raspberry or blackberry flavor. It's just like that potency of like the bitterness. That's the one thing I'm gonna point out for this drink. If you're, if you're looking for like zero sugar uh, Red Bull, right? And if you can handle like the, bitter, the slight bitterness, this might be the thing for you because it has zero sugar, right? If, if you're looking for like a zero sugar drink, this is like like super perfect. Or if you want like less sugar or sugar free, this is also like an option too. It's really nice drinking this drink on a on a day like this. I definitely need like a pick me up, right, to kind of get me going through the day so I can pump out some videos and stuff like that. But I'm really happy with um, with this drink. I definitely I definitely like vibe with this, so I might rate this like a little just a little bit higher than normal. Cause I was gonna rate it in the beginning. I was gonna rate it like maybe like a six or seven. <clears throat> oh, that was a nice burp. That was from the carbonation of that. <laughs> <coughs> but I was gonna rate it like a six or seven. But my personal opinion, I think I might rate it rate it higher, maybe like an eight. And we're fucking done, dude. Alright. Let's get into the review of this thing. So, initial flavor tastes like Red Bull. There's like almost no difference between this and like another Red Bull. Except for you don't taste the heaviness of the sugar. And the sugar definitely adds a little bit of this like sweet uh, sweetness to to the Red Bull. So, with when you remove the sweetness... Um, like the amount of like sugar within the drink it makes it bitter and I like bitter so I really like this drink uh, the flavors when I take a swig um, you know like when I swish it in my mouth or when I'm just like trying to test it to see like what it tastes like um, it's the, it's it's what well, I'm trying to say is like it's pretty smooth it's suave it's smooth it goes down no problem the like carbonation for me is just a very tiny tiny issue right like this tiny you know um because like i don't i don't like um fizz in my mouth not jizz fizz you know f-i-z-z -Z, fizz and that's what i feel with the carbon carbonation within the drink um it's just the the bubbles just get kind of foamy fizzy and i don't like feeling foam in my mouth i feel like that's kind of like like, eh, and it makes wet burps too, so I don't like that either. Um, so that was just that was just like just a little annoying, but it's uh, it's interesting because the, I'm a texture guy, so like the texture of that is something I've never experienced like experienced before, especially like in a Red Bull. <clears throat> so I kind of give it like a slight pass, but it's not something I would I want I would want like in the future and stuff like that. 
Um, let me see. The other thing is that the undertones and the aftertaste, they they definitely um, reflect that of like a zero sugar Red Bull. I feel like there's not really much to say about that because like it stays in your mouth for a little bit, but the more you talk like I am right now or like if you're smoking, um, that flavor goes away pretty fast. Or if you're doing something else, like if you're eating food, the, 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 the flavor of the food would make sure that like you don't taste that like uh, that bitter, you know, foaminess of, of like the drink and stuff like that. It doesn't stay long in your mouth, which is pretty interesting. Like the Mucho Mango uh, Arizona was like, that, that thing was stuck in my mouth. <laughs> like the flavor was just so sweet and just like in my mouth I was just like Ugh. but yeah that's all I really got to say about this Red Bull and the can the can's not that bad either it's almost like a gray skill right it has like this almost like green gray going on it's interesting nothing too crazy it's really minimalistic but it was enough to get me interested so it, it must be it must be doing work but but yeah, I think that's all I really got to say, though, for that review. If I was going to rate it, I think I'm going to rate it like a good solid 8 out of 10. It's not that bad. It's actually not that bad. And also, guys, if you like, if you guys like the review, because we're getting down to like 11 minutes, so i got to end this quick. If you guys definitely like the review, definitely give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. And let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you guys want to see more taste tests uh, reviews like this on my channel, or if you want to see some of my other content, definitely check out the channel and hit subscribe. We finally hit 1,000 subscribers. Woo! So that shit's like fucking hype as fuck, dude. So let's, let's shoot for like another thousand, dude. <laughs> that would be fucking dope. We're just gonna keep climbing, dude. Um, if you want to see, if you don't want to miss any uh, post notifications, definitely hit that bell icon for more notifications. I post pretty often and pretty pretty regularly. So if you don't want to miss another post, definitely turn that on. But anyways, this is me, your boy Dragon Master Five Two Five, aka Keon, dude. Signing out, dude. Woo.